Uh, so I think we're going to get right into it. Yeah. These guys don't seem to strike me as the kind of guys to button check. Oh, uh, yep, definitely going right in there. Deku's swinging all over the place. He likes his moves. He does, and I don't blame him. Ganondorf's got some real pretty moves. Pretty moves and also strong moves. Oh my god, he's in a terrible position. Goes right to the ledge. So up till definitely not a block string by itself. Oh. Got a shine or move or something. Yeah, spaced outside of shield grab range is pretty good, but deep in, not so much. Yeah, Deku's just going to have to answer that high up B, though. If he keeps letting him go to the ledge, it's going to be a big advantage for Fury. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, edge guarding is one of, supposed to be one of Fox's main weaknesses, exactly. right? Like, you get him off stage. Hitting him isn't easy, but if you hit him, he dies. He dies, yeah. So, and that's, that goes double for Ganondorf. You know, he, strong, he, strong moves. You'll die up there that sends you at a t nasty angle. Yeah. Oh, we stomp it. This is disrespect. <laughs> oh, yeah, again, Fury going for the ledge. Actually, pretty decent angle there, too. Why did the up air that time, though? That Can we talk about how using a, dam a move that does 22% damage as a punish is disrespectful? <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if I agree with that. I, I, don't, I, don't, uh, I don't get it either. Yeah. But I think it's a really, really funny joke. Oh my god, that's some like Brawl Tomb Link down Yeah, <laughs> it really is. Uh, but it still triggers me a little bit just hearing <laughs> oh, yeah, Brawl yeah, Tomb Link. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, yeah, about. Yoshi's Island? Yoshi's Island. <laughs> Shout out to Hylian. A little bit too low for that air dodge. A little too low. Still uh, very comfortable. Oh, that, okay, that, that was almost in this game. The, that was almost the fastest commentator's curse in the world. I was about to say, pretty sizable lead still, though. Unfortunately, Fox's shine sucks in this game. Yeah, yeah it is actually It's awful. not usable for edge guarding whatsoever. Nope. Don't even try. That happens. You can grab again and die. Exactly. Oh, okay. it's so bad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good follow up on the Nair. Uh -huh. Up the flutter kicks. Good position now for Fury. Gonna shine All him right, out of the double kill. Yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, unlike unlike in melee, the down down B will eventually cause tumble against okay. every character. Yeah. Uh, so whereas in, in melee, it's based exclusively on their weight. Yeah, Ganondorf being one that never does. Yeah, since now it does actually have knockback growth. Yeah. Interesting choice of the dash attack. If he had gotten the late hit dash attack, that might have been a pretty juicy combo. Uh, not sure. Uh, I think at this percent, Fox would just get tech. Uh, have, to, have to tech because yeah. of, of his fall speed. Uh, that's going to be all she wrote for this Fox uh, IMO. Yeah, up air, not even necessary. Probably could have just rolled up, but can respect uh, guaranteeing it. I like killing people multiple times. It is pretty for fun. First stop. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, oh, you're dead. Again. Yes. That does generally feel pretty good. Mm -hmm. Very satisfying. Get that, that drop down footstool when people are dying. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> like the maximum disrespect. Uh, dude, it's so good. All right, so at IAV, we actually do character first oh. or uh, selection. Um, so that's why you see off uh, Fury pick Captain Falcon, even though he lost that game. Uh, normally, you would see the bands, you'd pick a stage, and then you'd say, are you staying? Right, right. Yeah, and a lot of uh, regions are switching to that sort of style now, especially since Project M has so many like volatile matchups. Volatile matchups, um, uh, unknown. Re there's not much like re region mixing. Right. So, yeah. like, let's say I go to a tournament and I play a, a player from another region. He's not like a bad player by any means. I don't know what characters he's gonna have like in his back pocket for uh -huh. me, right? It's not a big deal. If I was like, I'm putting Junebug. I know he's got that Ganondorf from right, Mario Land. Right. But there, there's going to be some some guy that I don't know. And th these could be two people that don't know each other that aren't like top players. And it could exactly. ever, adversely affect, them, affect the tournament set. Where I get them like heavy counter picks like DKFD or yeah. some characters from Dreamland. Absolutely. Get the, the Ganondorf on Wario wear treatment. Maximum disrespect. Oh, very nice tip, Mitch. That is going to be enough to finish that. So like, where oh. I come from, the Midwest, we call that the Eddie Spike. Oh, yeah? Because Eddie was doing that okay. before Tipman yeah. played. Yeah, I would believe that. Yeah, I but guess Tipman Spike like, definitely caught on more. Right, yeah, he kind of like popularized it. Whatever you want to call it, it's really good. Yes, very, very good setup. <laughs> very uh, delicious angle that that reverse up air hits at. Oh, yeah. Oh. Some, some Jigglypuff down smash stuff. Right. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, I just actually just flew into the blast zone. 
even stocks here, though. The counter pick seems like it's working out for Fury. Lots of room to run on this stage as Falcon. I am a fan of Dekus' movement. Yeah, uh, his wave lands are really juicy. Yeah, his movement overall. Yeah, the wave lands we just saw there, like the platform movement, uh, knowing when he could be canceling aerials into other stuff. Yeah, he's got the back air wave land, which I don't think is in melee. Uh, because of the way interrupt frames okay. work. Yeah, because uh, you, you, you can air dodge, and in melee you can't. Okay. So it's common to see back air and to jump into back air, yeah, melee, yeah. but not an air, air dodge. I may be wrong. Maybe you can do that in melee. But it's something I see a lot more in this game. Fury managing to sneak his way on stage. From He's been doing a lot better this game than with Fox. Yes, yeah. I'm thinking the extra room is good so that he can wait out Ganondorf's attacks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is uh, a problem of Ganondorf. Is if he's you're actually up front, like it, within his range, he can swing attacks all day, and he's pretty safe and super scary. But if you're outside of like dash attack range, uh, it's pretty hard for him to get into position where he can actively threaten you. This is actually where I counterpicked none to when he was Ganondorf yep. against me. And it worked out really well. Stock count still even. Chance here for Fury. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a nice, oh little, nice pivot walk. Or pivot turnaround. I don't know what. Perfect pivot. Perfect pivot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Landing the down air. Big opportunity here for Fury. Spacing outside the get up deck. This, this could, could be, be it. No, oh, this is dear. the knee and gets back aired. Ah, uh, that's rough. This could be it. Yeah. Falcon kick. For the forward throw. That yeah. looks so strong. It does, yeah. That'll be it. <laughs> Good stuff. Fury just kind of like uh, nods his head. He's like, yeah, he got me. Yeah, yeah he, he knows he missed his opportunity. If he had landed the, the combo into the knee, which you kind of have to be able to do as Falcon. You don't necessarily get a lot of uh, chances to do it if you screw up. 